This morning I find myself in the Sappington Cemetery right outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And as you can hear from the road, uh, it is right next to a road. It is, it is a small little cemetery, one of the oldest in Missouri, if not the oldest, uh, on a, right next to a major road, uh, the old Highway 66 for that matter. Uh, there's an Ace Hardware right next door, there's a guitar center, there's a business buildings. It's one of those cemeteries that has avoided being uh, moved, basically, uh, taken over by the, by the modern day world. And generally when this happens, when a, a cemetery is in a location where uh, progress is happening, they will move the cemetery and they will build right over it. Now they will more than likely move the stones and mostly move the people interred. This one has avoided that fate, which I find really interesting. There's a couple other interesting things about the cemetery. Let's take a look. That's the way being is made up.
Now, as you can see, there's uh, a lot of plots right behind me, a lot of stones. Uh, it's pretty full over there. Over here, it's a little bit more bare, as you can see over my shoulder. That does not mean there are not plots there. In fact, if you start walking around, you'll start noticing stones in the grass that are more than likely old tombstones. For instance, that one is definitely an old tombstone. But then you have stones like that one that could be and uh, there's a few other uh, right right behind me those ones are more than likely tombstones and also there are a few bases where a tombstone would have sat over in the more populated area of the cemetery which means there are more likely more people buried here than there are current markers now this place is well kept because it's a, an, it's a historical landmark at this point, but they can only do so much. By the time the people who uh, took over this location to help care for it, the damage had pretty much already been done. So a couple of repairs that I've noticed here are uh, much like this tombstone. It has a brand new base on it. It's a very clean new base. So they obviously, that stone was down and they made a base to set it back in there so that it wasn't lying on the ground any longer. But then you have items such as this. This stone, if you can see, still has some writing that's clearly visible that has been cut off by the base that it's currently set in. So more than likely that stone was on the ground and they made a new base for it to sit in but either the stone was broken off at a point or just the base was a little uh, too deep. So when they put the stone in there, cut off some of the writing. Another thing I noticed in, on one of the, the tombstones, one of the markers, there's a small plaque right there. Gives a little bit of history uh, of this person. It says, the tombstones of Achilles Smith and his wife were moved to Sappington Cemetery in 1967 from an abandoned farm plot, a family plot at a barn, or not a barn, a farm. <laughs> and um, the interesting thing about that is the wording. The wording said that the tombstones were moved. That doesn't necessarily mean that Achilles Smith and his wife were moved. So I am leaving the cemetery. I've got to get back on the road and it's just so noisy over there. Uh, but it's very interesting. I really enjoy finding these cemeteries that are living, for lack of a better term, inside of a modern location. Uh, people driving past them, people working right next door to them. I wonder how much thought goes into that cemetery that's right outside your office window. Do they think about that location? Do they think about the people buried there, the history that they represent? I'm not sure. I know I would, but of course I would because it's a cemetery road. Uh, but that's it. I've got to hit the road. I've got to get back on that road. Uh, but remember, no matter where you're at, be it a, an abandoned cemetery in the middle of nowhere, be it one right inside of city limits, Remember, be respectful, be safe, and until the next time, I'll see you then.